All right, Teague. Aloha, like I've been telling everybody to start all the interviews here. Uh, how, first off, how was the travel? You guys had the longest travel of any teams to come here to Hawaii to wrestle. How was the travel from D.C. for you guys? And, and it wasn't too bad. So we, we, had to, we did a couple of different flights because we determined who was coming at different times. So we ended up with different flights. But all in all, it was good. Half of us came on a, a direct 10 hours. That was kind of, that was actually kind of, it was tough. It was a long flight. Then we had some other guys that had a breakup. They, they made it to either Phoenix or LA and then made it in here. So all in all, everybody made it safe. Um, and for the most part, everybody felt good once we got here. So we got a really good workout last night, got the trip out of us. And then today we were just doing some weight management, getting ready for tomorrow. You got some guys who are coming home. Yep. Thraw brothers. Yep. How are they doing? And, and are, are they even staying at the hotel? No, they're at home in their beds. That's where I, when, when we knew we were coming over, I talked to them and just said, are you guys gonna be more comfortable? Do you wanna be with the team in the hotel or do you wanna be at home in your own beds? And they wanted to be at home in their own beds. So I think that's good. And um, just being back in this environment, I think is positive for them. Uh, a chance to wrestle in front of their hometown crowd, I think is, is good. The event seems like it's getting a lot of press. You know, I got a call from a, a news station. They're doing a preview on it. Yeah. And, and this seems like a pretty hyped up event. You know, what's that like for you, knowing there's going to be probably a good crowd tomorrow? Uh, it, it's one, it's just exciting because this is one of those things that it was an idea, it was a concept a year ago. Um, when Jay brought it up and, and Cody and I, we were at the Southern Scuffle when we kind of kicked the idea around. And now that it's an actual event, we're here, we're doing it. Um, that's really exciting for me because I think we, we need some events like this for wrestling that are just different and catches the eye. Um, a, an old wrestler, a kid that I coached while I was at Clarion is now a news reporter here in, in Hawaii. So he's, he's jumped on board to help give us some attention to the local media. And um, that's big. Anytime we can come into a new environment, and introduce the sport of wrestling at the college level to some people that have never seen it firsthand, I, I think that's good for us. And that's gonna be a good stepping stone for what we can do in the future. So far this season, you, you know, you and I have talked, it's been up and down for you guys as far as competition. You, you were all right in November, then you had your Vegas tournament, which was kind of or a ballot. We or we didn't have <laughs> or we, Or you did it, you had a rough Vegas tournament. Yeah, we did. To say the least. But, you know, that's a valley. What do you want to get out of this and how can this be a peak for, for American University? Well, just it, it, looking at it individually, there's a couple of guys here that bit, have some big opportunities in front of them with ranked opponents. Um, a chance to wrestle some of these guys that we've been training for all summer long, all preseason long. These are the events that you want to be ready for. These are the matches you want to be ready for. So, I mean, look, it's always everything up to the Nationals is a work in progress. And so if we come out here and we wrestle better than we did in, in Vegas, and we had some guys that wrestled well at the Cleveland State Open, if we can keep that energy moving forward, I'll be happy. And uh, I think those guys, they're excited to be here. Our team's excited to be here. Uh, great teams that came in to compete with us, so we couldn't ask for any more. Now it's time to just go out and have fun and wrestle. If I'm watching American guys tomorrow, I'll have some of the matches I'll be, you know, uh, commentating some of them. Who should I look for? Who should I look for a break, a breakout? Uh, obviously the Terrell brothers, but I think John Boyle, our captain, our 157 pounder, um, he, he has really put in a ton of work from his freshman year where he started at 141. Last year he made a change to 57. And this is a guy that never won a New Jersey state title, but you know, he does everything that you could ask of, of an athlete. He gives you 100% all the time. He's a guy that could have a good breakout tournament. Um, Jason Grimes, our 84, has kind of been on the fence of finding that success that he's capable of. Uh, our 197, Brett Dempsey, has also done well. Um, so those are a couple of the guys. And, and look, anybody that's in the squad that's here could have a breakout tournament. But I just want them to be relaxed, go out and have fun and wrestle to the best of their ability. If we do that and we learn while we're here and we can get better, then it's a positive trip. So the Thoreau brothers are going to be doing crazy judo throws tomorrow? No, I just want to see good solid singles and takedowns and rides and getting their hand raised. I don't care how they do it. <laughs> I don't want to see any of that out of them. I want to see when they're exciting, man. They're fun to watch. Yeah, when, when those guys open up and they wrestle, they're really exciting to watch. Um, but that's also been something that we've been working on is when do you when do you flip that switch and, and turn that element into your wrestling and when do you when do you go back to your fundamentals and work your basic stuff. So um, look, we don't I, I don't tell my athletes specifically you need to go out and do this, this and this. 
I want them to go out and wrestle to how they feel at that point in time in the match. If they want to go full throttle and open it up, then do it. Let's see some big throws and let's see some action. If you need to be conservative and control a match and, and score in those tight positions, conservative positions, then we do that, whatever we need to do to win. You know, like I've been talking to other coaches and, and they really want to get something out of the training the day after the tournament. Yeah. They also want their guys to get a little bit of R&R &R and not so much pounding and grinding. Yeah. It seems like I'm getting a little bit of both. You know, what? how do you feel about that? I, I'm in the same boat as, as those guys. Um, we had a really, when we got back from Vegas, our training, we trained really hard through our finals week through Cleveland State in preparation for this. Um, everyone went home for Christmas break, but a, a, a trip like this, we want to work hard and we want to get better, but at the same time, we want to enjoy it and make it a memory that these guys are going to look back on for the rest of their life. I mean, I, I really believe this. This group that's here with us enjoying this trip and wrestling here, they're going to look back on this 25 years from now and talk about this trip. So we got to get out. We're going to do some hikes up some waterfalls, and we'll do some workouts maybe out on the beach, out on the sand. Um, so that when they leave here, they have great memories. We don't need to stay in a wrestling room for the for the days that we're here training. We're going to go out and mix it up and have fun. Do you think the ambience of the waterfall has put some people to sleep during this interview at all? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. How could it not? What are you going to do? You going to have some fun? What are you What are you looking at? You yourself, personally? Uh, me, I just you know for for my my personal enjoyment out of this trip. The way that my month has gone, I'm looking to just get some relaxation and just chill out and just kind of rest and, and enjoy it while I'm here. All right, well, big competition tomorrow. Coach, you got anything else for me? No, I'm just, I'm excited that we're here and rest. I appreciate Flow Wrestling coming out and covering this. Um, this is what our sport needs to do. This is different. And this is something that could grow in the future. I hope we come back. I don't know if we will, but I hope we do. And maybe we can get some more teams to come with us in the future. I think I've already heard some people uh, express interest to me. Should we go there? And I was like, heck yeah. Why not? Why not? Well, hey, coach, good luck tomorrow and thanks for the time. Awesome. Thank you.